What the frick is up, guys? How you doing? I just said the F word in the first five seconds of the video. You think I give a crap about being monetized? <laughs> if you didn't want edgy as heck content, borderline crazy, you shouldn't have clicked on this video. But enough about me, let's talk about today's video. Today's video, we're gonna be showing you something the beard industry probably doesn't want you to know. Also, for all my subscribers that like to be cyber bullies and make fun of my AT&T phone, I switched to Sprint and got the new Motorola Razr. I don't know if you guys have seen this thing yet or not. This thing is sweet, and not only did I get the newest, baddest phone on the market, I got it for a sweet price. I got it half price. I got it for $750. Mom quit calling, I'm literally right here. All right guys, enough freaking rascaling around. Let's talk about today's video, and that is a way that you're gonna save a ton of money that the beard industry probably doesn't want you to know about. Now this is something that I have suspected for a long time. I just never really took the time to check it out, right? And I wasn't sure that I, maybe it's a given that everybody knew this, and maybe it wasn't. But I looked it up on Google and I couldn't find anything related to this um, to this topic. Now, the, what set me off on this trail was a long time ago, there was this thing, I mean, not this, it, it's, it's still a thing, it's called tattoo butter or tattoo balm, whatever. It'll come in tins like this and it'll sell for quite a bit of markup. And I looked up the ingredients one day and they were like the exact same as like beard balm, which was really weird to me. So, I was looking around the internet one day and I found what is called body butter. And now this is like a typically a girl's product, it's called body butter. It's like a moisturizer, lotion alternative basically. Now here's the secret, leaning close. Body butter, you ready for it? Is beard butter. Now I know you're sitting there watching this video on your not the latest smartphone, of course, because you're not like me. Um, and you're wondering, what is this guy freaking talking about? Let me show you. Now what you're looking at here is whipped beard butter. These are two different companies. I'm not gonna name these companies. I don't wanna seem like I'm bashing these companies or anything like that, or that I'm trying to belittle them. These are really good products right here. These are great stuff. But let's talk about what's in these versus what's in this stuff right here. All right, so with beard butter, usually it's just gonna contain shea butter, virgin argan oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, apricot oil, blah, 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 blah. Essential oils and butters, basically, that's what it is. And then they'll add like an essential oil for scent or whatever, but here's a random uh, body butter from Amazon. Let's read these ingredients. Shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, marula oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, and essential oils. Eerily similar, right? Now I know you're sitting there watching this video on your phone, although not the latest and greatest like I have, still a phone, and you're wondering to yourself, why does this matter? And I'm gonna tell you why. Your typical beard butter is gonna be about a four ounce jar and it's gonna be anywhere from like 17 to $25, usually around 18 to 25, somewhere in there in that range, right? This is an eight ounce jar of whipped body butter and guess how much it is? 23 bucks, double the amount. This one right here is 11 ounces. Guess how much it is? $17. This one right here, 15 bucks for four ounces. And these are Amazon Prime, like 2D shipping, really fast to you products. Now again, you're probably sitting there watching this video on your old ass iPhone 11 or whatever. Suck a butt. Asking yourself, how is this possible? If it's the same thing, then how do beard companies get more money for it? Let me tell you why. Competition. Basically, we as bearded men live in this kind of small ecosphere of the of beard products. You got your beard product sellers, you got your consumers, and we feel like, yeah, this is it. This is our this is our bubble, this is our circle. What you don't understand, which well, I mean you probably do if you know a woman or if you know a girl, that the girls' beauty industry is incredibly exponentially bigger than what our tiny little niche of male beauty products, whatever you would call it. All this stuff, these things right here. These are marketed at women. These are marketed at girls. So when you have an industry like the women's beauty industry, which is, guys, it is crazy huge. There's gonna be a ton of companies out there wanting to sell products to consumers. And what does that do? That means they have to be competitive with one another. So competition is going to drive, number one, innovation, number two, price. In the beard world, right? Maybe let's say there's a thousand companies that are selling beard products. In the women's industry, there's well, like probably half a million uh, companies out there trying to sell products to consumers. So what does that mean? Again. 
they have to be competitive with their pricing in order to get sales. So that is why these body butters are so inexpensive. Now, let me tell you a few things to be kind of uh, worried about or concerned about or things to look out for. Um, number one, you're gonna wanna look at, if you're gonna buy this stuff, right? I'm gonna link down good ones down below that I found on Amazon. These are just ones that I was searching on Amazon, found them, bought them, uh, got them sent to me, right? I'll link the ones down below that are good. There are a few that I wouldn't buy um, and I bought a few just because of that, just to kind of show you some examples of that. Um, like this one, I went into an Ulta. I bought this one at a, like Ulta, Ulta Beauty, which is like a girl's makeup shop or something. Uh, but they have stuff like this body butter in there. Now the ingredients on these good ones are gonna just be like all natural stuff. Like like this one is shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, blah, 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 blah. This one's gonna be shea butter, coconut oil, vanilla extract, cinnamon oil, clove oil, nutmeg oil, coconut extract, ginger. This one's uh, shea butter, almond, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, aloe vera, and fragrance. So these are all just like all natural ingredients in these things, but there are some body butters. So you can't just go out and look up any body butter or any whipped body butter and just assume that it's gonna be good, right? So look at the ingredients. So case in point, this is the one I got at Ulta Beauty. Um, the ingredients are, here, let me just show you. You see all those 17 syllable words? That's a big red flag. Another thing to look out for is um, like, this company right here, their product is made of good ingredients. This is Respected Roots. This is their body butter. Um, but this, it says eight ounces, right? And it looks like it's in an eight ounce container. This is like a feather. This little four ounce container weighs more than this container. I can tell just from feeling it in my hand. Matter of fact, I have a scale, hold on. Four ounce body butter, 4.8 ounces. Eight ounce body butter, 4.9 ounces. So these weigh the same. This one's four ounces and this is eight ounce somehow. I don't get it. So this one was a good price for eight, eight ounces, but is it eight ounces? No. Got me thinking, let's weigh this 11 ounce one and see if it's 11 ounces. Ooh, that one's only seven ounces, but still that's seven ounces for what, 15 bucks this is? Wait, let's weigh this one. It is 13.9 ounces. That's probably because of the glass container. Um, or it could be a lot of product. I don't know if this gl glass container weighs five ounces. It says eight ounces on here, it might be a little bit more. Now let's dig into these and I'm gonna show you the consistency so you can see it's exactly like the same consistency, same product. All right, now this is the Beard Products, which shall not be named. I don't want it to be construed as in any way that I'm bashing this product. This is a really good product, but let's compare it to this. So consistency wise, if you look at that, nice and creamy, right? Same thing here. If anything, this is a little bit lighter and fluffier, it feels like, but same ingredients, same whipped consistency pretty much. This is that apple cinnamon one right here. Again, very smooth, very creamy, just like a beard butter should be. All right, and this was the 11 ounce one right here. Really creamy, really nice consistency, very fluffy. Um, these tend to be just a little bit like fluffier, it feels like, than the other like, Here's the other whipped beard balm right here. So if you can see, it's just a little bit, I guess you can't really see that it's a little bit heavier, but I feel like it's a little bit more condensed than this right here. Put some in the beard. I am a buttery mess. And you're still sitting there watching this video on your smartphone, probably not the latest and greatest like I have. I rule, you drool, you go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Um, and you're sitting there thinking to yourself, what does these things smell like? What is, what's, the, what's the scent of these? They're, they're girl products. Don't they smell like dandelions and roses and glitter? These actually smell good in like not a girly way. This one right here, the big eight ounce one, is apple cinnamon. Smells like my mom making apple. I know you don't cook. You really ruin a vibe. But this just smells like apple cinnamon, like a cobbler is what it smells like. This one is very lightly scented, the 11 ounce one, but it is coconut chai. I definitely get that out of here. If you ever had a chai tea, smells great. It smells like coconut and chai, really good. This one right here is sandalwood and vanilla. I mean, these are these are scents that are made by beard companies sometimes. Another one I looked at was organic uh, whipped body butter by Glimmer Goddess. <laughs> I mean, and who doesn't want their beard to glimmer like a goddess, <laughs> but uh, this has like the consistency of, this has like the consistency of lotion though. It's like not what I like. Even though the ingredients say shea butter, coconut oil, cocoa butter, sweet almond oil, vitamin E, lavender, and lemon essential oils. I don't know how they got this consistency out of those ingredients, no idea. And then this Tree Hut one, Shea Body Butter from Ulta, no go as well. And then this one is cool, it seems good. It's got the great consistency, everything, but it says eight ounces, but it, the whole jar itself is less than five ounces. So 
Um, that seems a little bit iffy, so I wouldn't recommend this either. But these three products right here, just off a very kind of routine Amazon search, I was looking around, I found these three products very readily available for really good prices. And I'll link all those three below. Now this is not to knock on the beard industry like as far as products um, or sellers or companies at all by any means. There are definite benefits when you're buying from a beard company. Beard companies being in this tiny niche tend to be smaller, meaning like less of a customer base, meaning you're gonna get more attention from the owner. If there's anything like wrong with your order, it's probably hard to find like a beard company out there that messes up on an order and can't get a hold of you to fix it. That's one of the great things. Another thing is like the scent lines. Yes, you can find good scents of this, but there are a lot of really girly scents when it comes to like whipped body butter. I looked high and low to kind of find these unisex scents versus something that smelled like uh, fairy dust and unicorn period blood, I don't know. But yeah guys, that is the end of the video. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments down below if you don't want me to answer them because I'm really bad at getting back to people in the comment section. Hit a like if I helped you save some money. Subscribe to this channel if you thought this video was cool. I don't know why I'm saying this so slowly, but I just got a bunch of beard content I've already filmed, bunch of great content coming in the future. And if you wanna be a part of that, hit the subscribe button. There's gonna be plenty of stuff coming and uh, I don't know why I'm still rambling about that. But yeah, guys, as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Stay bearded, bye.